Five and ascension reading for you guys today. So, uh, if y'all have a, a twin flame and you're all wanting to get together to ascend, go back home. That's what the meaning of these cards is, okay? You guys, so y'all can meet this life, so you'll go back home and won't reincarnate again. Did you know that? That's what it means, you guys. That's what twin flame and ascension means. Just let you know and let me pull out what it says. I love y'all and I hope to give you a clear, concise message today. And just hope I can help you along in your journey a little bit, okay? Let me get a few cards out, see what it's saying. What's on our mission accomplished? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. What's on our key? Thank you. What's on our key? Divine master. Oh, wow. Wait till you hear about this. And oh, what's on our this lesson? Oh, thank you, Warren. Spirit, Spirit, Spirit. I love you guys. If you're new, welcome. And I hope I can give you a little bit of clarity unification is on the bottom and that is aligning with abundance if you keep seeing nines a lot you and your twins aligning to receive a lot of spiritual wealth and a physical wealth see because divine order you put it in divine's hands and, and you learn to practice patience and it's slowly coming to you my dear it's slowly slowly and surely coming to you trust trust now so here's what it says. I'm trying to move these cards somewhere because I'm gonna have to do more cards in a minute. So what it's saying is, you when you see 11, 11 all the time, see, it's telling you to learn that you are enough. Say, I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. Whatever your name is, say, I, Pamela, I am enough. I don't give a shit what people think about me. I am enough. I'm a good person. I let go of expectations of expecting to get together with whoever or whatever. I'm enough for myself. Say that. Just let go of ex the expectation that you're you're going to be with them. Just let go of that. That's all you got to do. Are you listening? And it'll come to you. Trust, trust. You're all healing during this separation. That's why you might be seeing uh, double sevens or 77, 77, you know, uh, you, but all it means is you had to go within and uh, figure out that you was enough because you was thinking that you wasn't enough in this connection and when you did go within and you started letting go of ever being with that person you went through a rebirth see seven seven and you know your personal freedom got unleashed and you just feel free within yourself you feel free like that free little beautiful butterfly there do y'all see butterflies a lot well you're going through a rebirth okay you're you, so basically you gotta learn from like you know when you as a child you grew up you know say if you're 40 so you went through a rebirth and you're a brand new 40 year old Ben. <laughs> that's what it means Oh, and right here it says higher conscious awareness. See that angel? Maybe y'all got a guardian angel like I do. That's why I keep my angel here, my son that passed away. My aunt bought me that, and I love it. And I, don't, I would never take nothing for that. But you went inside and started listening to your higher self, your higher conscious awareness. Uh, so you're more aware of yourself at the moment and your frequency is getting increased as we speak okay you're upgraded you get it oh and look it come out for you all 11 11 look see that swans y'all made for life your you all's mission is accomplished evidently and it's saying welcome home so you and your person come together just so y'all could when you died you wouldn't have to reincarnate again okay so somebody out here got with their twin and 
and your all's mission is already accomplished. Good for you. I feel like that here. Oh, wow. Oh, you, you accomplished your mission with this masculine twin. Did you hear that? Spirit tales. Uh, you, you had to release your lower self. You know, all that dark inside, that negativity, that, um, you know, if, if your partner is doing something that pisses you off, you got to look within yourself and figure out why, why they, uh, why they're pissing you off is maybe something that you needed to heal outside of yourself, you see? And that's why at Cycle, you said it completed it because you released your lower self. Good for you. Don't think negative and don't go back. Oh, and then we got King, King, Divine Masculine now. Divine Masculine said, I see this Masculine Twin over here. And and a Masculine Twin said, I see you over here, King, and I am uh, greater than King that's what my one twin said. He said he's greater than this now, King. He's fucking emperor. Don't you mess around over here, King. That's what he said now. That's what he said. But but you you woke up, Divine Masculine. He's got a crystal clear vision, and it was all because of Divine Feminine's help. You made him aware. He's got total awareness of the how you all play a part in society and in and in this. Um, Making the earth's vibes high. You taught him. Oh, ain't that something? I love spirit, don't you all? How it tells on them. It tells us that they're, they're learning. Oh, and, and when you see 8-8, eight, eight, that's the path of least resist, resistance. And, you know, you started choosing ease and grace. You did. You said, I'm just going to go with myself and know that I am enough to go within and heal the issues inside of me so I can be reborn and my personal freedom unleashed to show everybody I'm an angel. I, I'm teaching y'all to release that. Release your higher consciousness and so you all can uh, and release all this old negative self-talk. And if you had to release a divine, uh, a divine mask on that was key over your life so you could get this twin, it's telling you you need to do that. Uh, so you chose the path of least resistance, and and now you got clear energy blocks, so your chakras are in line. You know, you you started activating the higher chakras, so you went from boot from your root chakra all the way up to your uh, you know your your uh, spiritual enlightenment, your your crown chakra. You, you taught them how to clear these blocks that was inside of their body so you all could come together and go home and that's why it come in the middle. I love spirit, don't you guys? I hope that helps somebody out here a little bit today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome and I hope I can help you just a little bit to my little subscribers that's been with me. I love you too. You know ones that, uh, uh, that come every day and you write me a little comment. Thank you, I love you. And I hope I can just help you guys with something, okay? Let me see what kind of card I want to use. All right, let's let's use these cards right here. Let me do a little flip of you all. Don't get mad. Oh, maybe somebody out here set a boundary with with their twin. See my little twin flame card. So I mean. Y'all can believe me or not, I just broke in with two. So, I mean, Twin wants to talk to you today, baby. Twin wants to talk. Twin wants to talk. What's Twin wanting to say? He wants to tell you something over here at Pound Star Oracle. He said he wants to go have a celebration. Y'all gonna be celebrating and loving each other. And maybe you blocked them from your phone. I just saw blocked right there. Maybe y'all been blocked from each other. You know, nobody, when you realize how powerful you are, nobody wants you to be together. Have y'all ever, have y'all ever noticed that? Yeah, they'll try to keep you separated, but that don't mean they will, you know? That don't mean they will. Oh, wow. Well, and you're a person that knows that you have a divine counterpart and a spiritual partnership from God. And that person is totally coming to you. And they don't give a dang on what anybody says. Are you listening to that? Oh, this divine counterpart from God, you know, like your twin Ray, that's a spiritual connection. They said they don't give a shit. They're coming. So now, y'all, if y'all ain't ready for them, they're coming to you because you've been thinking about it all the time. Are you listening? I know what I'm talking about, you guys. What does, what does the uh, old twin Ray want to say? 
What did Twin Ray want to say? What what he need to tell us about today? Uh, you all are telepathic. Seeing this man's mind, how they're you're all talking. You can't get each other out of your minds. Uh, maybe you have a telepathic connection, and it could be. Uh, it might be creating drama in one of y'all's families. Are you listening? But it doesn't have to be. Yeah, just what it said on that card. But it could be. All right. And, uh, but they can't stop thinking of you. And what else about this do we need to know, Spirit? It said uh, they knows that you rose above what other people would drown in. They knew that you rose above all that bull crap. Now they know it. They know it. And they might be drowning in their emotions oh it's a pisces has water energy so see how my so maybe one of you all out here has a divine counterpart a spiritual partner that is from uh that is a pisces but you know pisces uh open up your emotions to the one you love that's what i wrote on their card i wrote a lot of different little sayings but somebody wants to open our emotions up to you that's what it's saying to the one they love that's what that meant they don't have to be a pisces they just want to they love you babes they love you so much. They love you because uh, they was sleepwalking and you woke them up. So you woke this person up. This card says this person is still asleep, but no, you woke them up. That's why they come out. They was drowning in their emotions for you and you taught them. But they, somebody out here is, want, uh, is wanting to uh, form a try. try it's going to triangulate you with another person. And, you know, this is where two people disagree and a third person gets pulled into the disagreement. This forms a triangle within the argument. So, they, they got a third party situation going on at the moment. Uh, uh, they did. That's why they were sleepwalking. What under divine counterpart? Oh, God. The law, the law enforcement. See that right there? The law enforcement knows that this is your spiritual partner. Are you listening? Oh, uh, look. And your life, your soul life mission is to let your love shine out into the world. This is mine. Do you see what I do? This is mine. That's my soul I'm missing. Oh, it has my copy. That permission copy. That's me. You understand? And uh, maybe this cop can't, can't stop thinking about can't stop thinking about you or something that you said. And uh, and uh, this part it says you rose above what other people drown in. You rose above um, uh, drugs because it says you know on this card it says this person is going through withdrawals. If they ain't got their fix, they take out their emotions on you, and it starts a huge fight. And you have to leave people like this before they take you down with them. So what it's saying is, this cop over here uh, is proud of you that you didn't drown and get caught up with dope heads. That you fixed yourself. That's what they're proud of. I love you. Don't you all love spirit? 1333. And we are in our new beginning of manifesting and our ancestors is helping us when you see 333 you know that the center masters are helping you your center masters are you listening and uh you uh this pisces wants to let their emotions of love flow to you because you help them to heal their self by using their smart mind and body and to clean up in their self they know it now what well, about this person it might be asleep but I think it means you woke up that person. Oh, no. It's a blonde woman. A blonde woman that had something to do with all the lies and setups. And God showed you. Spirit guides told you to run from this person. They're sleepwalking. They could be a Pisces. But you woke up to my mask on. It done said it. It done said it in that twin flame thing. Oh, and, uh, and it, you're saying it's hard to forgive other people when you haven't forgiven yourself because that energy will stick to you like glue until you learn the lesson. So what it's telling me is your divine masculine out here is hooked up. One of you all that's listening to me, I don't know who it's for. It ain't going to be for everybody. But they're hooked up with a blonde woman. And 
they might have been trying to get you all set up and, and they're, they, they haven't learned the lesson they haven't learned the lesson that's why they haven't come together with you because they still in a third party situation you see what i'm saying that's why they haven't come to you they because this blonde woman stuck to them like fucking blue you know what i mean but they can't stop thinking of you they cannot they know that y'all have a soul of vision don't think they don't i love spirit don't you all oh god and you and this person you all are made for each other and you mesh well with each other's energy and if you all haven't had sex when you do the sex is going to be off the charts baby now trust me it's going to be off the sex and what else Oh, and Spirit said they love you because you're all wiping out your enemies one by one. They was planning on maybe breaking in and maybe trying to harm you or r word you or stab you or kill you, but they can't. You wiped them out. You wiped them out. And you wiped out. They. Oh, I know what it is. Don't compare yourself to other people. Love yourself for who you are and choose to be a healed individual that is happy with yourself because you're happy with yourself. You, you started wiping these enemies out and it, maybe you started a channel like me and what it is is they were sending a psychopath towards you because you're a healed individual. They know you got a lot of love and what it is, you put out a reading and they was planning on harming you, send this psychopath towards you, but, but you killed them one more time. Oh, I love it, spirit. And the law knows it. That's why the law enforcement come out. That's why... And one of your enemies, it could be this blonde woman. Every time you put out a reading, she goes and tells it to the law. But you, you keep whooping her eyes every time. Don't worry. Every time you whoop her eyes. All right? <laughs> Ain't that funny? I love my cards, don't you guys? I thank y'all for loving me and support me. And, you know, and I hope I can help you all to go after y'all's goals and dreams. Because I will, babes. I will. I'll help y'all to go after your goals and dreams, okay? Now, let me see what this story's about. What's this story pertaining to the spirit? Uh, well, uh, you've had a fallout with someone, and uh, you need to figure out what you've learned from meeting that person. See, so somebody you had a fallout with, you gotta learn what you. You gotta learn why you met that person. You gotta understand that part. What was the reason of meeting that person? You know that you had a fallout with. You know, that's the only way to grow and heal is when you learn what it is. Okay, you guys. What else? Shit, I think it rolled out. Oh, it did. Yeah, it did. What the hell did it say? Uh, you've had a fallout with someone, and uh, this woman or man has a curse over their life through sex with a partner of theirs that stuck to them through intercourse from another lover or person. So this person that you had a fallout with, they uh, got a curse through sex. They got a curse on them through sex, man or woman, from somebody they banged. From somebody they banged. And then what else? Uh, oh, oh, and whoever it is, it, this, this, this person is full of darkness and they have demented and distorted energy and you can feel this shit. You can feel it because it's cursed. You, and you're somebody that knows how to hustle. You've always had to make a living for yourself through multiple avenues. You're like a damn Jack or Jane of all trades. You're good at everything you touch. And you can feel this shitty son of a bitch because you're an empath. And, and you got to let go of a person who has control over your life. But that same person wants you to be scared and... You know, not go after your dreams. You gotta let control go of that person that has control over your life now. Who I'm talking to? What is one more after that? They ain't no. They ain't never saw how high vibing beings work. We we find the truth. That's how we find. That's how we fix problems. We find the truth. What honor you had to fall out with someone and you had to figure out. Uh, it says uh. 
you you it says you you was a much better person when I was in your life trying to teach you how to live without drugs in your life. So this person you had a fallout with is a drug addict, and you was trying to teach you to get off of drugs and and uh, somebody's divine masculine wants to take you on a moonlight ride to the lake and go skinny dipping until the morning light. But what it's saying up here above it, whoever divine masculine this is. They got a curse on them for banging somebody else now, and, I, and so that's not really divine. That would be a karmic masculine. Uh, it, but it's saying maybe you think it's your divine masculine. Somebody else listen to me, but they got a lot of dark, distorted, demented energy. Oh, oh, maybe you was feeling all that energy because you was uh, going, you was going through a, uh, difficult and significant transition to a deeper perception of life and how you place yourself in it. This is called dark night of the soul. But, oh, okay. So when you was going through the dark night of the soul, you felt this man's energy fucking this person that was giving them drugs. Are you listening? If you're like me, you got friends, old girlfriends, that's, uh, that, that's where you went and got your dope from. You know, like me, I did, and yeah, uh, I didn't want them around. I told man, don't fuck go around it. But somebody's old man out here, or woman, when you was going through dark night, so you felt that this man fucked that woman. Are you listening? Now somebody out here, you all can concur. Oh, and and oh, and it said. What's that say? It said sometimes you just need a good cry and let the emotions flow. So see, uh, this person, it flipped way over. I can't get it because my fat dog's back here behind me. But that's what it said. So you just had to let your emotions out and tell them people, don't you fucking do this and bring it around me no more. And, uh, and, uh, you, and you're somebody that knows how to hustle and you also know that this other person didn't know who or what in the hell they wanted they just wanted drugs you know and let go of people that has control over your life you let go con even con women that brings dope into your life and con men okay you no con men are allowed around me or in my energy anymore no dope feeds uh so it's yeah, I can be honest and say that dope had a control over me at one time. It did. It did, you know. And that's why I choose to not be around dope heads anymore. And I tell y'all not to be. And if, you know, you all are on drugs, some of y'all out here, and, you, and you're on a bad, you need to go get y'all some Suboxone if you can't afford treatment now. And I don't care if anybody gets mad at me or not. I'm going to keep telling that because that's, it won't get you high. It has a blocker in it. It has no locks on. Have you seen that they give training of if somebody's overdosed and you go s stick them with that needle real hard the locks on so they so they won't die that's what that's what's in it so now if you're all against it you're dumb now don't i don't want y'all to bitch about it to me because i'm not gonna argue with nobody because i know what the fuck it does i know it's good oh and, and, and you're getting ready to travel the world and the biomasses will take you anywhere you wish to go just say where and you'll be there baby you and him both, you and him both is getting ready to leave because both of you all uh, know how to tell the truth. That's why. And these people you had fallouts with, they, they wanted to keep in drug life. They wanted to keep in drug life. Fireworks. Maybe, maybe something happened at 4th of July. But what I think it's saying is... Uh, you brought love, joy, like you're like a firecracker, baby. You got a fiery, enigmatic in, in, personality, uh, and you bring it out to others. And they wish that they don't listen to you, and they know they're cursed. This, this divine last one knows that they was cursed by this other partner. And and th and that person that this divine mask goes with, they're they're lazy. They got couch disease. Nobody can steal my idea. That's my idea. If you hear somebody saying it, let me fucking know because I know where this come from. My father in law. I've started a lot of things like let's get in there like swim wire. I noticed that got around real fast, and you know I said that for many years, and I, I let her have it. It's okay, but uh, this right here, somebody's got couch disease and they don't want to get off the fucking couch and do nothing. They're lazy bastards. So y'all let me know if you hear that because I'm going to make a sticker of it one day, okay? All right, so this is a lazy couch disease, a lazy couch disease, and they got dark energy. 
and, and, they're, and they're trying to dig up stuff from the past about you, but they know you're totally transformed because you went through, you already went through dark nights, so you, you was cleaning up your life. You was getting rid of them drug life. You got rid of drug life. And that's why you might have been sounding like you didn't have a clue about anything in life. Well, because you was on drugs bad, like, you know, cocaine, meth, hard shit. Hurl once, you was on hard shit. Somebody was listening to me. And you know how to hustle now, and nobody ain't got a clue what the hell they want. I only remember all people are not good people. You have to pray to God and ask God to show you if that person is a good person and they fit for you, or if you need to cut ties with this person. Or use your pendulum, a heavy necklace. That'll tell you an answer, yes, no. Oh, and you let go of control of all these con men star because you're a healer of the ages. It's your destiny. It's not their destiny. This is me. This is me. You love my card. It's our destiny, not theirs to mess with. That's why you got rid of dope fiend star. And you know that all people ain't good people. You try to help them, but you can't. But you're somebody that's high vibe and for sure. That's why it come out like that. You got rid of these con men. I love spirit. I love you. And I love you, spirit guides. For you all showing these people I ain't crazy. And uh and and you and your divine master, you're gonna travel the world, baby. And honor and love yourself because you are a unique and different person. And know that God, universe, raw, the divine, whoever y'all believe in, loves each and every one of us. Love yourself. Show your show how beautiful you are. Just just let your just, just show people the real you. No, don't show people fake. And now remember, stars out here, the devil will send people to block you off from receiving your blessings from the divine and can make you reject an offer from God. Did you learn that? Honor and love yourself. Don't reject the offer from God. Because spirit partner come out, remember, at the first. Now, and I know what I'm talking about, you guys. Let me, let me hide these and y'all something else to uh to look at I, it's already on 27 minutes spirit can we have some messages i'm just gonna get just a few of you all and I'm going to get off here and do another different message for you guys. And today is Thursday, September the 8th. 8th, I think it is, you guys. I'm pretty sure now. some new cards you guys and they'll be here next Wednesday and I can't wait I can't wait till you all see this one new deck I love it so and I wish I had been the one thought of it because I always love them down cards and I should have knew they would have made them I should have should have should have should have known I love them so and I'm gonna show them to you I ain't gonna tell you what they are but y'all gonna be so happy you're gonna be so happy me and you all are because we're gonna have new ones okay we're going to have new ones to show, and I'm going to pick one out of here. Okay, that's all we're getting. Now, let's see what it says. Fear is in the eyes of the beholder. It's in yourself. If you're too scared to go after something, well, get out of that down security cat. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, you guys. Just get off your eyes and go after what you want now, because you're the only one that can. Are you listening? There's nobody else that can. It has to be you. I know that y'all might wait on somebody else, but I'm telling you guys, you better listen to me now. You got to get up and do it now, okay? God do it for yourself, and I love y'all, and I hope that you listen to me, okay? Oh, okay, I see what it is, okay. Thank you for that spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now, look here. Respect other people's boundaries. This person is unlovable. The laws of the universe are helping you. They are at play at the moment. This person that's unlovable and doesn't respect you is on their ice to prison. 
And I guess you're aware of the dirty dealings that was done to you and at work. Oh, so it's the person that didn't respect your boundaries. This person is unlovable and the laws of the universe is helping you to put this motherfucker in prison. Are you listening? I love spirit. If y'all love spirit as much as me, oh God, hit, hit, hit a like and, hit, and hit subscribe and tell me something good in the comments and I'll love you and I'll tell y'all something, okay? Now, don't every day I write something, you all. I got a lot of stuff to do now, you all, but I'll write to y'all sometimes, okay? It says sometimes you have to isolate yourself to look all around you and what's really going on. Yeah, you were scared to look around and see. You changed your mind. You see now, buddy, you see. You get it right, bitch. I could wire your old ass out with a damn good old ass kicking. So quit telling lies. Oh, you want to kick that person's ass 30 30 because they lied on you. Good, good. And you think it's cool to abuse me? It's going to be cool when your ass gets raped in jail. Oh, so whoever abused you out here, they're getting raped in ice in jail. Oh, this person is. Is it funny? Anyway, they're a sellout. They're a sellout. They try to get you in trouble. They tried to sell you out, and you're somebody that respects people's boundaries. But this son of a bitch didn't, and I know, and I thank you, Spirit. I hope you do put that person in prison or jail who always are thinks they can just abuse you with just, uh, I'm not talking about physical abuse. Yeah, uh, you know, don't be around somebody that physically abuses you. I'm not going to uphold that. I'm talking about mental abuse. Now they're going to get mentally abused in the ice with a giant cucumber in her ass. Ah! <laughs> Is that funny? Oh, stand up and defend yourself from this piece of shit manipulator. That's what you did, and the laws of the universe helps you. Oh, and you got support from your mom and dad through this. Oh, wow. Ain't, ain't that good? And uh, and this person, they wanted to do coke and play with you in a bedroom. Oh, going to prison. <laughs> and your angels gave you the gift of knowing how to grow a business without anybody's help with it. And thank you, God, for that. Oh, wow. Yeah, that that's what I did. And the devil wants his payment. And y'all can't win with the devil. The devil's got their payment. They're going to be in jail for fucking with you, Athena, the goddess of love. Oh, wow. Me and you all out here. We're Athena. Ooh, wow. What a goddess of love. We don't have to pour our love on the airboat. <laughs> That's who we are. So the universe loves us. You know, because we got that. And you're like, boy, please. I don't want no boy. You ain't no man. M A N. And know how to stand up for yourself and your woman. I don't fucking want you, boy. Is that what y'all say? I don't want a boy, do you all? Oh, divine feeling. You need to trust your intuition and follow what the angels has guided you to. You did. You did. You sitting on your ass doing a practice like me. Good. Hey, woo, woo, woo. 32, 32 just went by. 55, you changed and started doing this, baby. And you can't buy me look. You can't buy my love, so stop trying to. This person will just buy your love. Don't focus on the material. Focus on helping people to get out of ruts. That's what I do. That's what Athena, goddess of love, is doing over here teaching you all. And Mother Moon has heard all your cries and wishes. And on a full moon, you need to go outside and you need to say and you need to look up at the full moon and you say, I stand in my power and I am very powerful and I am a mother that can get any mother friggin' thing done that I need to. And please help me divine and they will. Oh, they will. They'll hear it because you're loyal, dedicated, and you're a hard-working woman and your divine mind's going to seize you as the hardest-working woman that he knows and he wants to take you and get your eyes into the bed with him and he wants to kiss you and lick you and give you a good massage and rub you and you cup his nuts and you all going to play with each other. Oh God. So y'all need to get out of that fear mentality and go towards each other and make the best love for the rest of your all's lives. Is that what y'all doing? Well you need to. Mirror Twin Flames in Ascension. Athena Goss and Love's over here trying to help you guys. You better go out there and get your woman's you guys now. It's up to you all. You're supposed to be the man and do it like back in the old days. Now come on. Get, grab your nuts up and go do it. Grab your nuts up, Buttercup. Grab your nuts up, Buttercup. <laughs> my that that's my quote. I made it. Nobody else said it. Grab your nuts up, Buttercup, and get going. <laughs> I'm gonna make a sticker that says that. Grab your nuts up, Buttercup, and get going. Oh wow, that's a good one. I love you. See, I have a lot of good ideas. You can't steal them. Oh, they can't steal them because these people, when you start tarot, buddy, they'll steal off of you now. You better listen to what Athena Goss and Love's telling you now. I'm telling you the truth. I am. And this son of a bitch is a sellout. They sold their soul for drugs. 
They sold their soul for drugs and trying to get you killed and their payment is coming. Devil, devil's getting his payment because this person didn't respect you or your boundaries. They're on their way ass to prison for uh, fucking with you at your work. Oh, wow. We love it. Don't we love it? We love it. We love it. Spirit said this. Spirit said, Phoenix, buddy, you are down. Phoenix rising. You're in a new phase. You're rekindling. You you went through a transformation. You're growing. You changed your mind. Ooh. And sword and rose. You got clarity because this damn woman over here is a queen of swords. And she's a telling you all, you have the clarity. It's already in you. You know that truth. You know it's true. And it, you had a revelation that all this shit was going to go down because you, you stuck your sword out of down. You're in a half going. You knew it. You, you're you all about solidarity by yourself. Oh, you're, you're very fierceful and forceful. You honor. You honor your loved ones and you're all protected and you're so powerful. You're a powerful, mighty sword and rose being. And I love you guys and I appreciate you very much. And I'm going to get off here and you get ready to receive a gift. Oh, and your work occupation. Good lady. Good lady. It's coming to you. It's coming to you, good lady. I love y'all. And I'll see you back here in a little bit. Peace.